Hello my beloved viewers, welcome back to my channel on a new video of Microsoft Excel sum series that is running into my channel. So friends today in this video we are going to learn how to use the sum if function where our criteria will be greater than 500 and less than 1000 and we will only sum that results where our criteria will be fulfilled. Watch this video till the end. This is your host Pritam and you are watching Technical Portal YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon to get all notification from my channel. So without wasting any time, let's get back to the point. So here I have a sample worksheet where we will use the sum ifs function to get the result according to this criteria we will just need two criteria in the cell range so we are going to use the sum ifs function in this g6 cell so equals to sum ifs then open the bracket then it is asking for sum range so what our sum range will be our sum we are going to sum the amount so this will be our range sum range then put a comma then it is asking for criteria range one then again our criteria range will be this one because we are going to sum that cells that contains a value which are greater than 500 and less than 1000 then put a comma here then it is asking for criteria 1 now here you have to apply the trick that is open the double inverted comma put the greater than symbol then type 500 here then close the double inverted comma now this is your criteria 1 now again put a comma and again it is asking for criteria range 2 and again our criteria range 2 will be this one put a comma now what our criteria 2 will be just open the double inverted comma put a less than symbol then type 1000 you can type any value as you desire then close the double inverted comma then close the bracket and simply hit the enter button look at here we have got an result so friend note carefully if you want to count that sales that contains the 500 and 1000 also that is our criteria you just simply have to type the equation symbol after the greater than or less than symbol like here and here right then close the bracket and hit the enter button you will get your results according to your table array so let's check how this formula actually works this formula sums the amount in column D that is our amount column when they are greater than 500 and less than 1000 the sum ifs function supports Excel's logical operators like greater than equation and less than symbol etc so you can use these as your like in your criteria in this case we want to sum values in column D that is our amount column which match two criteria the sum range is therefore this one followed by two criteria pairs that is one is this one and one is this one right note carefully that both operators that are greater than and less than symbol and threshold amounts are enclosed in double quotation right you have to put your criteria in double quotation and suppose you have these values these criteria that is 500 and 100 in another cell so you just have to do like this like suppose I have 500 in the H3 cell and 1000 in the I3 cell right so I have to type the formula like this look at here I am typing the formula again so after selecting the criteria 1 you just have to open the double inverted comma then put the greater than symbol and equals to symbol then close the bracket put an ampersand symbol then select that cell that is the smaller value then put a comma now this one is your criteria 1 then again you have to select your criteria range 2 put a comma again you have to type like this 
lesser than symbol you can type equals to symbol or if you do not need to type this this is as your wish then close the double inverted comma put an ampersand symbol now select the larger value cell that is i3 then simply close the bracket and hit the enter button you will get the result according to your this criteria and if you change your criteria like this it will show you the result according to your criteria so that's all for today friends hopefully you like this video please share this video with your friends share your opinion as well as your queries in the comment section keep learning keep supporting this channel and stay tuned